Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. So this video is going to pretty much be discussing this starting system for a uh, message that comes up. And this is in particular to a 2011 Ford Edge. So if you guys are having this problem, and this problem could be on and off, I've seen these I've, I've seen people with this issue that have been going on and off for a whole entire year. Sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. So, essentially, sometimes, if that's the case, um, you go to start your truck. Uh, in this case, a Ford Edge, and then that message pops up saying that there is a system fault failure. A lot of people take it to a uh, mechanic and uh, even in a lot of cases, the mechanics can't figure this out because in modern cars, there is uh, a lot of mm, computer software in the car, et cetera, et cetera. And I don't think OBD2s will pick up that issue. But here's the thing. A lot of times um, you could still hear the relays um, in the fuse box. Um, they do it's like a click when you turn the key or, or do a push start but it, it seems like in these situations that there's no electricity reaching um, the starter on the car so it won't crank so here's the thing about it. there's a couple of things that could actually cause this issue um, one of the things that could cause this issue uh, is the uh, chip in the key key fob that that has gone bad? So here's what you guys do if that happens, or or if you guys want to figure out whether that that is the, the 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 issue that's causing this message to pop up and your car not starting. So what you guys could do is you guys could get the second key to the car if you guys have one. Hopefully you guys do. But if you guys get that second key, and and a lot of times. Uh, when you put it in, try to start it, it should just start up without any issues. All right. That's the first, that's the first way. That's the first way to solve that issue. <clears throat> I mean, a lot of people do go to the, to, to the dealer and try to, you know, have them figure it out. And a lot of times what the dealership will do is first of all, they're going to charge you a ton of money, but second of all, Obviously, they're going to try it with a different key, and a lot of times that actually helps the issue. Um, other other times, other things that could cause this issue is I've I've heard this one situation where um, somebody had a wireless charger that stays um, that stays in the car the twelve volt, so. If you have something that stays in the 12 volt, uh, that the, the 12 volt socket, and you're charging something up, um, what you could do is you could take that out and see see if that actually changes anything. Um, make, you know, if you have your phone a charger and it's connected to your 12 volt, try taking it out and then try starting it. A lot of times that will uh, that will resolve the issue. All right. So that's the second. That's the second thing that you guys could do to resolve the issue. Um, like I said, a lot of these cars these days have a lot of computer in them, and and there's just a lot of things going on as far as the computer system is concerned. The whole electrical system is concerned, and a lot of times um, in these situations. Um, the car will work normally, except for the except that it will not crank the the lights, the radio, etc., etc. Will work normally. Um, you'll probably be in a situation where you you try to um, jump it and nothing happens. Um, a lot of people have either have also tried hooking up, installing a new battery. When if you don't need one, it, it's expensive. <clears throat> I mean, if you don't need one, a new battery, if you already have a new battery, uh, if they can't figure it out, they'll try putting in a new battery 
and uh, that that won't do anything. And also, OBD2 uh, won't uh, won't won't read this uh, read this issue. Also, testing the alternator, uh, testing the relays, stuff like that. Um, a lot of people who will change the starter also. So um, it could get pretty expensive. It could get pretty expensive if you um, if you have this issue and instead of just trying those two things, um, you know the key fob, uh, you know trying to use use a different key fob, or um, and a lot of times the the key fob uh, goes bad because uh, there's a uh, control module or anti theft module uh, transmitter. Uh, in the car and the key fab can't read it and, and it causes that situation to come up so 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 those are the two things that I can come up with as far as causing your car not to start and 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 uh, and and those are the two easiest things as far as trying to fix that situation all right and a lot of times using a different key will fix it and if that doesn't fix that situation look look for look for um you know see if you have anything plugged into 12 volt if you do unplug it and then try to start it if that doesn't work then obviously you're gonna you know you're gonna have to test out the fuses the relay the battery, um, you know, the computer system, you know, but, but, but if everything else in your car works normally and those are, you know, in, in, in this situation comes up, it could be a lot of different things. But, uh, with you, if you guys are getting that message, chances are it's either the key fob or, or, um, there's, or, or, or you're using the 12 volt in your car just unplug it and see if that that helps out but um if they, if this has helped you guys out anyway please give me a thumbs up please subscribe please um you know if you have any comments you want to share comments with everybody else just to help everybody else with the situation uh you know please post your comments all right guys take care